We need to increase the clear zone for the general good. What's the clear zone? Well, if you're driving down the street, the clear zone is the area off to the side where we keep squishy things like people walking or babies in strollers, sometimes pets. They all belong in the clear zone. The clear zone is in case a driver loses control of their vehicle and they can swerve around and they only hit squishy things. So I gave you my definition of clear zone. Here's what the Federal Highway Administration says. They say the clear zone is the total roadside border area starting at the edge of the traveled way available for safe use by errant vehicles. So basically, tech speak for what I said earlier. It's where a vehicle can swerve and not crash into a tree or a pole or something. Here's why you need to care about the clear zone. It's something that a professional will just go to a manual and blindly apply a value. They'll say the clear zone needs to be this many feet just in case a vehicle loses control. Well, what happens is a sidewalk might be there, somebody's front yard might be there, a building, a business might be within the clear zone based on the functional class of the street. Now here's a very important detail that the Federal Highway Administration says that a lot of professionals choose to ignore. Is the clear zone a controlling criterion? In other words, does everything have to work around this clear zone? Is it an absolute? And the answer is no, it is not an absolute. Having a huge clear zone does not equal having a safe street. Sometimes a clear zone can make a safer street. We call those interstates. That's when you're driving 70 miles an hour. But when you're driving through your neighborhood, when you're driving to the store, when you're dropping your kids off at school, you know, driving all these places because we built stuff that you can't walk on, well, you don't need huge clear zones. You should be driving slower. There should be people around you. Don't let professionals bully you with a clear zone. Take a look at the street, the surroundings, with your unprofessional eyes. Your eyes aren't going to lie. If you see a community street, if you see an urbanized area, then you know cars do not need to be driving at 50 miles an hour or 60 miles an hour with an enormous clear zone. Stand firm on this.